right my dear children now it's time to discuss questions related to the lesson life cycles of the animals and organisms so in the uh, like i said in the earlier chapter first of all we'll be discussing questions from your textbook then after that we'll be discussing several extra questions right which is prepared uh, related to the lesson part so first of all we'll head on to see the mcq questions given from your textbook so in here within these mcq questions you have to select the more suitable answer so the first question is given the animal that goes through complete metamorphosis animal that goes through a complete metamorphosis so the animal that goes through complete metamorphosis among these three uh, four examples human mosquito cockroach and rat so you know that human is not showing metamorphosis rat is also not showing metamorphosis cockroach is showing incomplete metamorphosis therefore our answer should be my dear children mosquito mosquito is the organism who is showing the complete metamorphosis as there are four different stages next one the order of different stages of life cycle of mosquito is so in the second question they are asking about the order so we know that there are four different stages what are the four different stages my dear children eggs larva pupa then finally the adult so we'll move on with that answer eggs larva pupa and the adult so fourth one is our answer the organism that grow uh, that go through an incomplete metamorphosis so incomplete metamorphosis so it's really obvious to us my dear children cockroach is the organism who is undergoing in a incomplete metamorphosis in the earlier case complete metamorphosis the met mosquito so i told you cockroach is an organism who is going through incomplete metamorphosis what is the stage that cannot be seen in the life cycle of cockroach right what is the stage that cannot be seen in the life cycle of cockroach that cannot be seen so life cycle of a cockroach there are three stages eggs adult and the nymph right eggs nymph and the adult okay so adult is there nymph is there eggs is there but larva you can't observe the larva stage larva stage can be observed within the complete metamorphosis of organisms next one it is not important to know about the life cycles of animals for controlling pests conservation of biodiversity controlling non infectious diseases controlling disease factors so my dear children key points of learning uh, life cycles of organisms is to control pest conservation of biodiversity and the controlling process of disease vectors so the factor which is not important right not important to know about the life cycle is controlling non infectious diseases so what are non infectious diseases non infectious diseases means diseases right which are not getting spread diseases which are not getting spread like heart attacks cholesterol then uh, high blood pressure diabetes cancers kidney diseases and so on these diseases are non infectious non infectious diseases these diseases are not diseases are not getting spread from one person to another therefore those things are referred as non infectious diseases okay non infectious diseases right so we can't use the life cycles to control non infectious diseases right okay 
then the second question place a tick if it is correct and place a cross if it is incorrect so i'll use the red color pen to answer this one rat does not go through metamorphosis rat is an organism who is not showing metamorphosis right it's very true next one the stages of life cycle of cockroach are eggs nymph and the adult yes cockroach they are showing incomplete metamorphosis so three stages can be seen eggs nymph and the adult the frog spends some stages of its life life cycle in water the frog spends some stages of its life cycle in water within the water there is an entire life stage my dear children the tadpole stage is entire living on water breathe from gills eat in aquatic plants so it is absolutely true some stages can be definitely or clearly visible within the water so it is correct right next one the best method to control pest is using chemical pesticides absolutely incorrect because chemical pesticides are much dif much dangerous to our environment we discuss that thing so therefore it is important to not to use these chemical substances that much okay so it's important to use as much as right as much as it's important to use traditional methods without any chemicals okay next one going through many different stages in a life cycle ensures the survival of the organism correct survival of the organism is ensured by going through with many different stages in life cycle right it is creating a well fit organism a well adapted organism to the environment it is creating a well adapted organism to the environment so it is correct no problem with that right okay then we'll move on with the next question so you are given with a figure life cycle so you have to write down the answers of the question using the diagram given so what is a and b eggs then b pupa then a so you know that eggs are getting converted into there are four stages so if there are four stages this is referring to complete metamorphosis my dear children right there are four stages then definitely they are showing about complete metamorphosis then eggs then this one should be larva pupa then the adult so a adult right then b larva name two insects that go through a similar life cycle as above two insects that go similar life cycle as the above as like this okay so two insects that go in complete metamorphosis butterfly butterfly and another one fruit fly fruit fly butterfly and fruit fly two organisms that undergo in complete metamorphosis okay mosquito is also correct mosquito right then the next question is the above insect go through a complete metamorphosis or incomplete metamorphosis give reasons for your answer ah so they are asking whether the animal shown in this figure goes through complete metamorphosis or incomplete metamorphosis so my dear children our answer should be complete metamorphosis why because there are four different stages within the life cycle 
There are four different stages within the life cycle, including larva, pupa, and the adult. Okay, so answer should be complete metamorphosis. Reason because there are four different stages in the life cycle so because there are four different stages in the life cycle of the organism so as there are four different stages right directly we can say that this organism undergoes in a complete metamorphosis okay right state three factors of importance of studying about animal life cycles the three factors important right three important facts that we right that we usually need uh, the three main importance of the life cycles of organisms Okay, so we have to mention those three importance. It's really simple, my dear children. Number one, to control disease vectors, to control disease vectors. Number two, to control pests. Number three, to conserve biodiversity. to conserve biodiversity so to control disease vectors control pests and to control or to conserve biodiversity right studying life cycles of organisms are pretty much important right then so with that thing my dear children we have finished up all the questions given in your textbook now it's time to discuss some extra questions so as usual, we'll go with the several MCQ questions. We'll answer all the MCQ questions and after that we'll go to the essay type questions. Okay. Number one, the process of changing form or shape. The process of changing form or shape. So it is given the process of changing form or the shape. Now in here, Two answers are given which are like similar. What are the answers? Two answers. Life cycle and the metamorphosis. We know that pupa and adult are the uh, stages of life cycles. No? So, answer should, answer should be either metamorphosis or else life cycle. Let's see once again. Process of changing form or shape. Form or else the shape is getting changed. So if the form or the shape is getting changed, my dear children, that is referred as the metamorphosis. So life cycle means here we can observe different stages between the 
life process of an organism okay different stages of the life process of the organism it's not the changing it's it's not about changing the structure actually it is showing how the life is going to move by stage to stage okay if the structure like size and the, all the other factors are getting changed here then my dear children it is called as the metamorphosis metamorphosis the stages of growth for all organisms are now see stages of growth so i told you in the earlier case life cycle is going to show the stages so that one definitely should be the life cycle life cycle metamorphosis and the life cycle okay complete metamorphosis has incomplete metamorphosis we know that right we discussed that so there are blank there is a blank given here so you have to choose the correct answer for the blank so complete metamorphosis my dear children it has four stages four four stages what are the four stages eggs larva pupa and the adult the second stage of complete metamorphosis second stage of complete metamorphosis so first stage is the egg second stage is called larva not nymph nymph is the second stage of incomplete metamorphosis okay incomplete metamorphosis so it's asking about the complete metamorphosis so the complete incomplete metamorphosis right the answer should be larva next one during the blank stage of complete metamorphosis the insect changes into adult shape so it's quite obvious my dear children we discussed that the entire change of the insect butterfly right is uh, into an adult butterfly is occurring or is happening within the cocoon pupal cocoon so the answer should be pupa so yes fourth one you can observe the pupa because pupal cocoon within the pupal cocoon the entire organism is getting changed into an adult shape okay next one three stages of incomplete metamorphosis really simple my dear children what are the three stages eggs nymph and the adult eggs nymph and the adult so egg nymph and the adult this is our answer egg nymph and the adult next question not a stage of complete metamorphosis not a stage of complete metamorphosis so within complete metamorphosis what are the stages that we can see eggs larva pupa and the adult okay those are the four stages in complete metamorphosis so it should be a one which is referring to incomplete metamorphosis so our answer should be what nymph nymphal stage can be observed within incomplete metamorphosis next one what process is represented in the diagram what process is represented in the diagram so in the diagram my dear children see eggs are getting converted to caterpillar caterpillar to a pupa pupa to an adult so this shows the complete metamorphosis of a certain organism in here especially butterfly so this shows the metamorphosis metamorphosis the change of their body structures from life stage to another okay right butterfly and dragonfly go through blank separately right butterfly and dragonfly go through blank separately so butterfly is an organism who is showing complete metamorphosis butterfly shows complete metamorphosis we discussed several times within the lesson 
and dragonfly is an organism who is going to show incomplete metamorphosis. That thing also we discussed several times. So answer should be complete and incomplete. So complete, incomplete, we can find that thing under third one. So here complete, complete, incorrect. Incomplete, incomplete, incorrect. Do not undergo in metamorphosis, totally incorrect. Our correct answer should be butterfly complete, dragonfly incomplete, metamorphosis separately. Right then. Complete and incomplete metamorphosis begin with what a stage? No matter the, right, no matter whether it is complete metamorphosis or incomplete metamorphosis, both the complete and incomplete metamorphosis, my dear children, starts from the eggs, right? It starts from the eggs, right? In incomplete metamorphosis, eggs are getting converted into nymph and the nymph is to an adult, incomplete. If it is complete metamorphosis, eggs get converted to larva, larva to pupa, pupa to adult. So, no matter... What, the, what is the type of, or no matter what the type of metamorphosis, in, in incomplete or complete metamorphosis, each and every metamorphosis stage is going to begin from an egg. Okay, that's one, that's a thing in here. Each and every metamorphic stage is beginning from an egg. Next one. Butterflies, bees, beetles and flies go through butterflies, bees, beetles and flies. So most of the butterflies, most of the bees, beetles and flies, right? So beetle type, there are some certain types of beetles. Most of the beetles are showing complete. What complete? Complete metamorphosis. There are some bugs who are showing incomplete metamorphosis also. But most of the beetle types are showing complete metamorphosis. Bees, complete metamorphosis. Okay, bees. Then uh, flies, you know that housefly, fruit fly, complete metamorphosis. Then the butterfly, absolutely complete metamorphosis. So our answer should be complete metamorphosis, complete metamorphosis. Next one, dragonflies, grasshopper and cockroach, really simple my dear children. Cockroach, dragonfly and grasshoppers, they undergo in incomplete metamorphosis. So incomplete metamorphosis. Incomplete metamorphosis. Man, cat, dog, rat go through complete metamorphosis, incomplete, both incomplete and complete, do not undergo in metamorphosis. So what you can say here? Man, rat, cat, dogs, monkey, all springs of these animals are very similar to the adult. So therefore, they are not showing any kind of a structural change. So, my dear children, none of these organisms undergo in metamorphosis. These organisms do not undergo in, do not undergo in metamorphosis. That should be our answer. Then the next one. During blank stage, insects build a protective covering. So, during the blank stage, Insects build a protective covering. So, pupa, larva, egg and nymph. So, at the stage of, at the stage of, at what kind of a stage does the insect build a protective covering? So, the protective covering can be observed. We studied that the pupal cocoon is a protective covering and it is a and it is a, you know, like that covering, right? 
that pupil covering this in, it is in the negative stage and it is also a protective covering this is not talking about a exoskeleton if it is given as an exoskeleton then my dear children exactly our answer should be the nymph however exoskeleton is not given it's just talking about a protective body covering so for protective body covering can be right protective not actually there is not body covering also just a protective covering so protective covering can be observed within the pupil stage don't go for the nymph because protective body covering is not given protective exoskeleton is also not given so therefore our answer should be pupil stage of the insects okay next one the stages of complete metamorphosis in order complete metamorphosis in order complete metamorphosis my dear children egg larva pupa then the adult so egg larva pupa adult this is our answer egg larva nymph incorrect egg pupa incorrect egg nymph how absolutely incorrect nymph is in nymph is in the incomplete com, uh, metamorphosis right incomplete metamorphosis nymph in the third one right also there is nymph in the first one is also there is nymph and in the fourth one there is also nymph so my dear children we can't take these answers because nymph refers to the incomplete metamorphosis choose the correct answer pupa is a stage of incomplete metamorphosis so you have to choose the correct answer pupa is not a stage of incomplete metamorphosis pupa is a stage of complete metamorphosis right nymph is a stage of both complete comma incomplete metamorphosis once again incorrect nymphal stage can only be seen within the incomplete metamorphosis we can't observe the nymphal stage in both these metamorphosis processes right fish birds go through metamorphosis once again incorrect fish and birds they do not undergo in metamorphosis their young ones are very similar to the adult so therefore they do not go and go with the metamorphosis process okay so incorrect then fourth one should be our answer let's see frogs go through complete metamorphosis yes that is correct frogs go through complete metamorphosis that is correct so this is our answer for the 16th question in the question number 17 a stage in a life cycle is a stage in a life cycle a particular way a living thing grows reproduces and dies an increase in size abundance or complexity single step in the life process how organisms are evolved it's asking a stage in a life cycle my dear children not about the life cycle if they are asking about the life cycle itself then this is correct which one a particular way a living thing grows reproduces and dies that shows the life cycle the entire life cycle but however they are mentioning about just one single step one single stage of a life cycle so one single stage of a life cycle is a single step in the life process single step in the life process is called the stage in a life cycle stage in a life cycle next one which animal has a stage that includes a tadpole pretty much straightforward my dear children tadpole stage can be observed in the life cycle of a frog not in grasshopper not in butterfly not in fish but in frog right what is the first stage of a tomato plant's life cycle 
what is the first stage of tomato plants life cycle so each and every plant we know that each and every plant is going to start their life from a seed from a seed each and every plant is going to start their life cycle only adult organisms are able to show only the adult able to show under the nymph we discussed that nymphs are not matured and they cannot reproduce so adult is the organism which is able to reproduce my dear children so our answer should be our answer should be only adult organisms are able to show what production of new offsprings which is called as the reproduction so only adult is able to produce new offsprings which is also referred as the reproduction reproduction adults are the ones only be only uh, show the reproduction process okay because they are the ones who are sexually matured right so they are the ones who are sexually matured in order to reproduce then the next one in the life cycle of a butterfly which stage comes after the egg pretty much a straightforward question my dear children after the egg the larval stage comes larva then converts to a pupa pupa to a butterfly so adult pupa tadpole larva is the answer larva the life cycle of a flower in plant starts again when a mature plant produces when a mature plant is going to produce right when a mature plant is going let's imagine that i have a chili plant normally lifespan of a chili plant is about 6 months so after 6 months the chili plants will die within that time period chili plants are going to produce what they are going to produce seeds so by seeds new plantlets are getting produced if they are being cultivated or if they are being spread to necessary places new plantlets are coming from the seeds by that way a new generation is getting created so however to produce new generation seeds should be there so mature plants are producing seeds my dear children seeds at the end of their life cycle to start a Uh, to start a new generation okay next one metamorphosis that image shows so in this image you can uh, observe a metamorphosis this is a metamorphosis of a beetle so there are four different stages larva pupal cocoon then the adult and the eggs so as there are four different stages definitely this is the complete metamorphosis so first one given complete because it has three stages incorrect it has four different stages complete is correct but however it has four stages incomplete because it has three stages incorrect it is not incomplete metamorphosis it is complete so complete metamorphosis because it has four stages next one what is the last stage of the butterfly life cycle very simple my dear children each and every life cycle is going to end up with the adult so adult is our answer which is referring to the butterfly which is referring to the butterfly metamorphosis can be observed in man rat cockroach incorrect man is not an organism who uh, is not an organism that show metamorphosis man is not showing metamorphosis frog rat once again incorrect rat do not show metamorphosis frog bat fish and butterfly once again incorrect bat and fish do not show 
cricket, dragonfly, cockroach and frog? Ah, this is our answer. Cricket, dragonfly, cockroach and frog, they show what? Metamorphosis. Blank stick onto a surface externally inactive. Externally inactive and stick onto a surface. Lava, eggs, pupa, butterfly. So most of the times, the most of the times, both of these answers are correct. What are the answers? Eggs and pupa stick on a surface and externally they are inactive. But however, my dear children, there are some certain cases. Okay, there are some certain cases, right? Where we can observe these eggs, okay? They do not stick onto a certain surface. Sometimes the eggs are buried under something. They are not being fixed to a surface. Sometimes. However, each and every cocoon, each and every pupa is sticked onto a surface for sure. So, my dear children, our answer should be pupa. Eggs are also externally inactive, correct? Some eggs are also, you know, stick onto a certain surface. But if you take the eggs of a fish, they are not being stick to a surface, right? Eggs of a, you know, uh, eggs of a turtle, not being stick to a surface, okay? So, therefore, we have now, eggs refers to each and every egg, right? Egg is referring, referring to like almost all the eggs. It's not mentioned in the eggs of butterfly, eggs of a, you know, uh, eggs of a butterfly, eggs of a beetle. Just mention in as eggs. That's the tricky part, my dear children. Here you have to choose the most accurate answer. Okay. But however, each and every cocoon is stick is going to stick with the surface. So therefore, our answer should be pupa, not eggs. Next one. The stage in which the young animal looks. Just like the adult, stage in which the young animal looks just like the adult. In the larval stage, you can't observe the right adult nature in the larval stage. Caterpillar is not like the butterfly, no, totally different. Eggs, not at all. Pupa, even we can't observe what kind of a thing is going to happen within the pupa. So, we can't observe it. So, definitely our answer should be nymph. We studied this thing several times that the nymph is somewhat similar to the adult organism. So, nymph is our answer. Next one. Cocoon can be observed in lava stage, egg stage, pupa stage. That should be our answer. Not in the nymphal stage. Okay. So, cocoon can be observed within the pupa stage. The stage in which an exoskeleton is observed. Right. The stage in which an exoskeleton is observed. So, you know that the nymphal stage of, right, the nymphal stage of insects, they contain an exoskeleton. So, the answer for this question would be, my dear children, the nymph. Right? Should be the nymph. So, within the nymphal stage, we can observe an exoskeleton. You know that uh, insects like cockroach, then uh, dragonfly, then the uh, cicada and the cricket. These organisms, they contain a nymphal stage as they undergo an incomplete metamorphosis. And because of that, definitely they contains an exoskeleton, right? So, as a, ex, an exoskeleton can be observed during the nymphal stage of the incomplete metamorphosis of insects. Next one. 
frogs breathe by blank and tadpole by blank. We know frogs breathe by lungs and the tadpole by chills. So find out the answer that contains lungs and gills. Lungs and gills can be observed in the second answer. So lungs and gills. So frogs are going to breathe by lungs while the tadpole by gills. Okay. Right. Then the next one. Question number 31. Paddy plant mainly affected by paddy bug during the stages of larva and egg. Adult and nymph, pupa and nymph, nymph and larva. So paddy plant is mainly affected by paddy bug. So paddy bug is mainly affecting the paddy plant during the adult period and the nymphal stage. Right? At the nymphal stage and at the adult time period, this paddy bug affects the, heavily affects the growth of a paddy plant. Next one. A vector is an organism who carries and transmit pathogens, carries and transmit the disease, carries and transmit the disease symptoms, carries and transmit fruits. So what is the answer my dear children? I told you that vector is an organism who is going to carry the disease but not the disease actually here. The disease carrying pathogen is the one who is going to carry out by the vector. Means that a bacteria, virus or else a protozoan is being carried out from a different organism to another by the vector. So my dear children, it's not the disease, it's not the disease symptoms. But the pathogen that carries the virus, that carries the disease is being carried from one organism to another by the vector. So it carries and transmits the pathogens, pathogens, right? Like viruses and bacteria and protozoans and maybe fungus also, okay? Right, then the next one. Mosquitoes carry the pathogens of diarrhea, malaria, rabies, common cold. Diarrhea is a condition that occurs within our stomach and intestine. So, during day, uh, if a person is having diarrhea, the main symptom that we can observe is passing of fecal materials in the liquid stage. Okay. Mainly this is created because of using contaminated water or food and this condition, this disease condition is mainly getting spreaded from a vector, right? Upon drinking those things also can spread but however, flies, house flies are the ones which are responsible in carrying this disease, okay? So my dear children, diarrhea is incorrect. Malaria is our answer. Malaria we know, malaria is carried out by a mosquito, right? Mosquito is carrying, mosquito is the one who is carrying malaria. Then rabies, rabies is a, right? This is also called as the hydrophobia. So hydrophobia or rabies is carried out by mammals, right? It is carried out by mammals like dogs, cats and monkeys, okay. Then the final one, common cold, actually common cold, there is no vector, there is no animal, right. Common cold is normally spreading through air particles in our atmosphere by air. So there is no special vector for it. So however, our answer is malaria. So malaria is the uh, one which is carrying or malaria pathogens is carried out by mosquitoes. Next one, housefly carry the pathogens of, so earlier we took that answer, right? Housefly is carrying diarrhea, pathogens of diarrhea. Then the next question, plant which is affected by mealy bug, 
plant which is affected by mealybug, paddy plant, coconut plant, chilies, pea. So paddy plant and coconut plant, those plants are not getting affected by mealybug. Mealybug is like it's, it's going to harm uh, for the plants that having like fleshy part. So chilies is our answer, chilies. Chilies. Sensitive stage of frog, larva, tadpole, adult, pupa. So tadpole is our answer, my dear children. We discuss these things several times when we are discussing the lesson, right? So tadpole is the most sensitive stage of the uh, most sensitive stage of the frog life cycle of the frog. It's because that tadpole is vulnerable to threats heavily especially with the other types of organisms like fish they're going to uh, eat these tadpoles and sometimes if the water is going to dry out these organisms may die because of lack of water and some uh, due to competition between the favorable conditions like food then these organisms or these tadpoles may die then tadpoles and egg stage are the sensitive stages can be the sensitive stages of frog. Okay, right. Then the next one, plant which affected by paddy bug. So it's really simple, my dear children, paddy bug, the name itself representing what's the plant that is affected by the paddy bug. So paddy bug is going to affect for the paddy plant, right? Paddy plant. Sensitive stage of fish. So, sensitive stage of fish, most of the fishes they lay eggs. So, the sensitive stage of fish is considered as the eggs because you know that if eggs are getting destroyed, then there won't be any fish. So, there is a high, proba high probability that the eggs are may destroyed or eggs may get, you know. Uh, uh, eggs, are, eggs may get destroyed. Actually, it's not destroying. Most of the times they are getting uh, eaten by different other kinds of organisms. Right? So, eggs are the sensitive stages of a fish. Right? The main sensitive stage of a fish is eggs. Eggs. Right? Then the next one. Figure shows the life cycle of so this figure is showing the life cycle of here you can observe there is a fly and the larva eggs and the pupa so my dear children i think you are familiar with this image so this image shows the what it's the life cycle or the stages of metamorphosis that can be observed within the fruit fly so this is the life cycle of fruit fly fruit fly right so fruit fly is an organism who affects the right who mainly affects the fruits like mango papaya uh, then uh, fleshy uh, fleshy fruits so those fruits are mainly affected by the fruit fly then the next one select the correct statement in nymphal stage, organism is sexually matured. Incorrect. In nymphal stage, organism is not sexually matured. Right? So, you have to choose the correct statement here. Nymphs do not have an exoskeleton. Once again, incorrect. Nymphs, they have an exoskeleton. Nymphs are shedding their exoskeleton. Ah, my dear children. That is correct. The next, then the next one, nymphal stage can be observed in housefly. Once again, it is incorrect. Housefly is an organism who undergoes in complete metamorphosis. So, therefore, we can't observe the nymphal stage in housefly. However, nymphs are able to shed their exoskeleton to become an adult. So, our answer should be nymphs are shedding their exoskeleton. Importance of learning about the life cycles are for pest controlling, absolutely correct. For pest controlling, it's correct. 
for controlling disease vectors. Once again, it is correct. That is the second most common use. For conservation of biodiversity, again it is correct. All of these can be used, right? All of these are important users of studying, uh, you know, life cycles of animals. All of these things are very important. So these are the important facts in learning life cycles of animals. Next one, animal that affects the fruits heavily. So, name itself refers to it, the fruits, fruit fly, right? The animal which affects the fruits heavily is the fruit fly, right? Fruit fly. Next one, question number 43, pathogen of dengue. So, I told you when I was discussing about that mosquito part, mosquito is a disease vector. So the dengue disease vector is, is also a type of a mosquito and this dengue disease vector is a mosquito and my dear children, the pathogen that carries dengue is a virus, right? It is a type of a virus, virus. The most sensitive stage of the life cycle of a mosquito Sensitive stage of the life cycle of mosquito. Sensitive stage of a life cycle of a mosquito, my dear children. Eggs, pupa, adult mosquito, larva. So I told you that when we are discussing about the sensitive stages, mosquito can be easily controlled by killing mosquito or by uh, destroying mosquito breeding places. It's because that Lava is the most sensitive stage of a mosquito. So by killing the places or by uh, removing the places where mosquito lava is going to breed, we can control the mosquito population. So my dear children, the sensitive stage of the life cycle of a mosquito is the lava stage, lava. Then the next question. So question number 45, select the correct answer. So you have to use, uh, select the correct answer in here. First one given, usage of chemical pesticides do not damage the environment. Incorrect. Usage of chemical pestic pesticides do damage the environment. Why? Because my dear children, if you take chemical pesticides, chemical pesticides are going to damage all the organisms in equal terms it's going to hurt it's going it's going to damage or hurt the organisms who are favorable for the uh, who, who are favorable for the uh, who, who are needed right for the environment itself the ones or the organisms who are fertilizing the soil will may, uh, may die because of these things so therefore Chemical pesticides are not favorable for environment. Next one. Chemical pesticides do not affect the water body. Once again incorrect. I told you that heavy metals and other different chemicals are getting collected within the water bodies. And these water bodies are getting contaminated because of that. So it is also incorrect. Chemicals that accumulate in water may cause cancers. Ah, that answer is my dear children, correct. So chemicals that accumulate within water can cause cancers to us, right? So there is a probability. So it is correct. So our correct answer would be number three. Select the incorrect statement. Usage of chemical pesticides damage useful soil organisms. Ah, that key, that is correct. Earlier I told you that usage of chemical pesticides, they are going to damage the soil organisms who are useful to us. Chemical pesticides are harmful to biodiversity. Absolutely correct. Because you know that chemical pesticides are going to kill useful organisms as well. So therefore, they are very harmful to biodiversity. It is correct. Consuming contaminated water may cause kidney diseases. That is also correct. Consuming contaminated water, not only kidney diseases, several other serve conditions might occur due to con uh, using contaminated water, right? 
So it's a reason for having kidney disease. That is correct. Then the final one, chemical pesticides do not damage the person who applies it. That is incorrect, my dear children. Right? The person who is going to apply these chemical pesticides, these, pers these people are also going to suffer with different kinds of diseases in the future. Definitely for sure. Right? It's because that vapor which is coming out from these chemicals definitely going to, right, ruin their faces, skin and might they might go to uh, our lungs also and within near future there is a probability that these farmers and these people may get hurt, may get different other complications within their body because of using these chemicals, right. So there is a side effect, right, there is a side, there can be side effects of using these chemicals for a low, per long time, right, so it is incorrect. Right. So my dear children, chemical pesticides actually do damage the person who applies it. Okay. Right then. Eco-friendly pesticide. Eco-friendly pesticide. Cyanide, malathion, hydrogen chloride, ash. As you can see here, all of these substances are chemicals. Right. Within name itself, you can see it, these are chemicals. So one and only organic substance which is given from this list is ash. So ash is our answer which is a eco-friendly pesticide. Why it is important to use eco-friendly pesticides? Usage of chemical pesticide damage useful soil organisms. Once again we know that it is correct. Chemical pesticides are harmful to biodiversity. Again correct. Chemical pesticides harmful to humans. Once again, it is correct. So therefore, it's very important to use eco-friendly pesticides, but not chemical pesticides. So all of the above are correct, right? And all of the above uh, things are important to use eco-friendly pesticides apart from chemical pesticides. That's why we need to avoid chemical pesticides and we need to use more eco-friendly pesticides, okay? Then my dear children, the next question, a sustainable practice, a sustainable practice, sustainable practice means a good practice, right? A good thing to follow, right? We'll see. Usage of agrochemicals, incorrect. I told you that usage of agrochemicals is not a good sustainable practice. It's going to damage the environment heavily. So it's not a good practice at all. Next one. Killing pests as much as possible who harms the crops. So I told you, my dear children, killing pests as much as possible. Now in this sense, in here, they're not mentioning the limit. Controlling and killing up to a certain, controlling and killing entirely, right, is two different facts. Controlling means up to a certain level, we are controlling the population. Now, in here, this statement refers killing as much as possible, right? So, that refers like eradicating. So, it's not good to do that kind of a thing for for an organism because each and every organism they have the right to live in our earth right so it is also incorrect usage of eco-friendly pesticides are ah, now that is a good answer because usage of eco-friendly pesticides will give a good sustainable practice so it is correct Next one, not a sustainable practice, not a sustainable practice. Using life cycles to control, uh, control, using life cycles of animals to control pests. That is correct. We can use life cycles of animals to control pests, not to eradicate or kill entirely, but to control, we can use. It's a good sustainable practice. It is correct. But we have to use a not, okay, not. 
applying chemicals to control mosquitoes in rainy season. Ah, now that is incorrect. No matter what, usage of chemical is not a good one. So it is incorrect. Then the next one, destroying mosquito breeding places to stop dengue. That is also correct. That's the best way to stop mosquitoes uh, population, right? Right, my dear children. So we discussed 50 MCQ questions within this chapter. Now within our next chapter, we'll discuss some more questions related to the lesson, right? Especially we are focusing about essay type questions in our next chapter.